And the penalty will push the Wildcats back five yards. You're looking at second and five with the ball marked in the center of the field. Takes the pitch out to the right side, gets around for about eight, and that's good enough for a Wildcat. Ball will be placed at the far hash mark of the field at the 39-yard line. And that is first and ten for the black and orange. And the draw goes up the gut to Dakota Wells, and he takes off about 11, and that's good enough for another Wildcat. First down! Really loud. Ball is on the far half block at the 28. And the attack from Figueroa with the Wells is no good. And that will bring up second down and 10 from the 28 for the Black Guard. Dakota Well takes off the left side for about six yards. Ball comes loose, and Dorian Wells recovers for the Wildcats. Ball is being placed on the near hash mark of the field at the 20 yard line. So the pitching catch from Figueroa to Dakota Wells is about four yards. He scampers off the left side, and that's good enough for a Wildcat. Ball is fired on the near hash mark of the field. That's the 14 yard line. That's Wells going off the right tackle, but there's a flag on the play. So that pushes the ball back to the fourteen yard line. And it's first and twenty for the orange and black. Oh, 
A 24 yard attempt from Figueroa to Wells. No good. Come on, Wells. Let's go. So it's still second and 20 with the ball being spotted at the near hash mark in the field on the 24. Figueroa takes on the scramble himself, gets about four or five yards on that one. That be a pick up on the four, ball being spotted on the knee, hash mark of the field at the 20 yard line. Tackle on the play, number 20, Snyder Fortin. Pass attempt for the end zone is no good. Brings up fourth and 15 for the Wildcats. We go to two. Number seven, Kicking Ledger will be setting up for the kick. Bag deep for the Patriots. Number 84. Number 83, Joey Osai. And the call will push the Wildcats back. Ledger will set up from the 35.
And the ball is kicked down the near side of the field and goes out of bounds at the 26 yard line. As always, ladies and gentlemen, our new concession stand is open for some refreshing drinks and tasty treats. Go on down and grab yourself something to eat. Why did, they get, why did they get moved up to the 35? Hey! Nobody's seen it. Oh, Evergreen, what would be taking over on the 35-yard line? Uh, Evergreen, what would be taking over on the 35-yard line? Wildcats get drawn offside, and that'll push it back five yards. Burn Cove will now take over in the center of the field at the 40-yard line. And the call on the green and white now. And the pages being pushed back five yards. They will start in the center of the field from the 35. So the quick pitch was moved up to number 24, Marcus Teslin, and he goes off the right side. Tackle on the play, number 7, Katie Ledger. That is Deslin again. He goes off the right side and gets pulled down by number 67, Javon Tessier. And that's about to pick up on three. It is third down and four for the Patriots. Ball is marked on the year half mark at the 41. Penalty against the black and orange. That's going to push the ball up the field. And the Patriots receive a new set of downs. The ball being marked on the 46 yard line on the near half mark. The next part of that is the 36 yard pass, pitching catch from Jack King to number 17, Joel Chukum. That gives the green and white a new set of downs, and the ball's being marked on the far hash mark. From the 21 yard line, first and 10 for the green and white. Yeah, you go. Come on, let's go. Three out. Let's go. 
And a handler off to Marcus Sessman again. He goes up the right side. Tackle on the plays. Cookie Ledger. Pick up of one. And that's where he's up and walking off his own power. That's a good sign. Patriots going to take over on their 22nd. Goes nowhere. He's sacked for a loss of about 10. Tackle on the play, number 11, Ryan Egan. And the ball is being marked on the 30 yard line. It'll be third and 16. And the pass was for the intended receiver, Harlan Tedder. No good. Now the Green and White will face a fourth down and about 16. Ball being placed on the far hash mark at the 36 yard line. A 31 yard pitch and catch a goal from Jack King. Number 81, Harlan Tedder, and that is a touchdown for the Patriots. Lining up for the two point conversion. And the two point conversion is stopped by a swarm of black and lines. And at 2 12 in the first quarter, our score is Gardner Wildcats 8, Bird Cove Patriots 6. As we say before, ladies and gentlemen, our concession stand is open with tasty treats and refreshing drinks. Go down and visit it and get a fun snack for yourself.
And Richards is lining up the kick. Bad beat for the black and orange. Dorian Wells. And Cookie Ledger. And Well takes it up the right side for about 20 yards. And the Black and Orange will take over. First in 10 with the ball being spotted on the far hash mark of the field. At the 44 yard line. And head off the sparrow goes out guard on the right side. He gets about five gritty yards. And that's going to bring up a second and five. Ball being spotted on the far hash mark of the field on the 50 yard line. And the handoff again is Barrow, and he goes around the left end, and he gets uh, about another ten, five yards, and that's good enough for a wild pass. So the black and orange will take over on the new seven down. Ball is spotted at the 40-yard line, heading in. Hand off out the middle to the go to Wells. He drifts it on and gets about eight yards. We're looking at a second and two. Ball is spotted on the near hash map at the 34 yard line. That is the middle screen. Flag is down on the play. And the penalty is going to march the black and orange forward. And that is a 15 yarder, and that's going to have the ball spotted at the near half mark on the 11 yard line. And Aiden Sparrow had to carry on the play before. Cozy Reds against the call and goes around the left side. He picks up a foul seven. And the ball is being spotted in the near hash mark on the two yard line. Tackle on the play, number five, Jose Otero. Oh, 
Flags and that's a touchdown Wildcat! And the Black Lions are going to call the two-point conversion. Oh, 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 And Cookie Ledger will set up for the Wildcats. Nice. Bad beat for Berto. Number 81, Harlem Penner. Right? Wildcats homecoming. Yeah. When you sleep, when you sleep over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it on, buddy. Put it on. <laughs> And it'll fit. And Legend with the food stick and picked up by number 17, Joel Chuku. And the green and white will take over. The ball being spotted on the 49 yard line on the far side half mark. Ball handed off to number five, Jose Otero. Gets it back to the line of scrimmage. And that's the end of the first quarter with the uh, Wildcats 16, third goal take it six. We would like to recognize the cross country teams for both the boys and girls, both of which are on the feet of the season. Please welcome Livy Osowski, Liv Powers, Megan Batez, Noah Johnson, Sakari Jenkins, Bradley Batez. Cade Salona, Thelma Aturbe, Santos Lavoy, Jose Santiago, and Jameson Miranda. Let's go, Gardner! As always, ladies and gentlemen, our concession stand is open to your refreshment. That is a screen pass out into the flat to number 12, B.J. Daniels. He picks up 11, and that will give the green and white very good Patriots a new set of down. Ball is being spotted on the far hash mark of the field at the 39-yard line, heading in.
And the ball is handed off on the right side to Jose Otero. He picks up about two. Tackle on the play, number 67, Javon Tessio. And the pass attempt from King to Chuku, no good. And that will bring up third and eight for the Patriots with the ball still marked on the 37-yard line. And King tucks it in himself, goes up the middle. He's going to pick up about four yards. Tackle on the play. Sparrow. Let's go, Keith Watch that play action. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go. Ball headed off up the middle, penalty on the play. And with the penalty, it changes the possession, and the Wildcats are going to take over on offense. The Black and Orange will be heading out of their own end zone, coming on the 29 yard line with the ball marked on the far hash mark over the field. All handed off in the middle to Dakota Wells. Scramble for a few inches. Tackle on the play. Number five, Jose Otero. And number 51, Jordan Murphy. So 
Throw the ball to the throw, then the Patriots take it off. By number 81, Harlan Bennett returns it by 15 yards. So the ball will be spotted on the knee hash mark of the field at the 49 yard line, heading in for the Patriots. Terrell goes around the left side and picks up about seven with a tackle by Dakota Wells, but all for not penalty on the play will mark the Patriots back. And the ball is going to be marked on the 41 of the Patriots. Burko will keep the first in 10. First and 20. It's about five, he sends it over to number 12, DJ Daniels. Tackle on the play, number six, Aiden Sparrow. Second and 15. Went from King to number 81, Harlan Ketter. Tackle on the play to go to Wells. And his third, in about six, with the ball spotted in the middle of the field at the 44 yard line, heading in. Number 70, Bo Gogan, and number 67, Javon Tessier. That brings up fourth and about 11 for the Patriots. Ball in the middle of the field. Back deep for the Wildcats, number two. Dorian Wells. And timeout called by the Gardner Wildcats. And at 6.16 in the second quarter of the play, Gardner Wildcat 16 and our guest 6. As always, our concession stand is open with plenty of tasty treats and refreshing drinks. Get it to go! Go, 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 go
With the ball being spotted on the 44 yard line, heading in. Pitch out to Sparrow. He picks up about two. It's going to be second down at about eight. Ball is spotted at the 47 yard line. I'm sorry, the 42 yard line. Check out our concession stand. Black and orange take the field. Second and eight from the 42 yard line, heading in. And Sparrow gets a quick pass out. He's going to pick up a few yards. He picks up about five yards. Ball's being spotted on the near hash mark at the 37 yard line. The third and about four. number goes around the left side. Picks up about 22 yards and that's good enough for a wildcat. And the ball goes up the middle with Dakota Wells. He picks up about two. Tackle on the play, number 20, Schneider Fortin. And the ball is in the center of the field, being spotted on the about the 13 yard line. Oh, yeah. 
And Sparrow gets it straight up the middle. He guts it out. That's good enough for Wildcat. And it's going to be a new set of downs. First and goal to goal with the ball being spun on the five-yard line in the center of the field. Wildcats setting up for a two point conversion. Ball goes to the total line. And that's the closest trip. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the visiting green and white of the Bernco Patriots 6 and the hometown black and orange of the old Wildcats 24. Ledger is setting up for the kick from the far hash mark. Back deep for the Patriots, number 81, Harlan Kenner. The ball and he runs it deep into the Wildcat territory. I want him to the <laughs> ball is being started on the 34 yard line near hash marks on the field. He's the Kenyan from the, from the Boston And that little quick handoff goes from King to number 12, DJ Daniels. And he sprints for a 34-yard 34, 34 touchdown for the green and white of the Burncoat Patriots. Bernco lining up for the two point conversion. Stop him here, boys. Stop him here, boys. Let's go. Watch five. And the pitching catch from King to Ketter, and that's good for their two point conversion. And at 215 remaining in the half. His score is the visiting green and white 14 and the hometown black and orange 24.
Okay, at number 10, Timos Richards is setting up back deep for the Black Hunt. Number two, Dorian Wells. And number seven, Tricky Legend. Timeout called by. Burn go Patriots. Legend's going to get about 11 yards on the return. And the ball is going to be spotted for the black and orange center of the field at the 36-yard line. And Otero goes off the field under his own power. Always a good sign. And the previous play has a holding call that will march it back. It will reset the play. First and 10 from the 37 yard line.
about a 47 yard pitch and catch from Figueroa to Dakota Wells. Ball is being spotted. Ball is being spotted by the 11 yard line and that's good enough for a wild pass. And the ball is being spotted on the near hash mark of the field, just above the 10 yard line. Picks up about four. Ball is being spotted at the eight yard line on the near hash mark of the field and brings up second down, goal to goal. High step for Figueroa. And he goes ahead and gets a few tough yards on his own. Tackle on the play, 77. Bobby Skinner in number 17. Joe Tucker. Third down, goal to goal. And the black and orange is going to set up for a two point conversion. And with 19.9 seconds left to go in the half, the visiting green and white of the Bird Cove Junior Senior High School Patriots 14 and the hometown black and orange of the Gardner Wildcats 32. I'm 
Ledger kicking off from the far hash mark of the field, back deep, number 81, Holland Kitta. And the boost kick goes up to Joel Tutu. And the Burn Kill Patriots will be taking over a new set of downs. First and ten with the ball being spotted. Ball will be spotted on the near half mark at the 49 yard line, heading in. The Patriots back five yards, and it'll be first and 15 with the ball far on the near hash mark at the 46 yard line. Up of about seven. That's going to make it about second and eight. Tackle on the play, Cookie Ledger. Let's go, Cookie! All will be set up on the far hash mark of the field at the 47 yard line, heading in. Andre Martin. 
And that does it for the half, ladies and gentlemen. With our Virgo Patriots 14 and your Gardner Wildcats 32. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the center of our field, the baddest band in all the land. Taking the field is the pride in class of the Gardner High School Wildcat Marching Band. We are excited to announce that the band has grown by 50% from last year and has the largest number since 2019. The band is led on the field by drum majors Jonathan Hastings and Lydia Broom. Color guard captain Felicity Kalo and percussion captains Andy Lucier and Ben Hefter. Tonight the band will be performing selections from this year's field show, The Music of Stevie Wonder. And now let's hear it for the Gardner High School Wildcat Marching Band.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to recognize another team coming from league champions, division champions, state champions, regional champions, and yes, the 2023 national champions, your Gardner Lady Wildcat cheerleaders, Captain Jayla Prelo, Captain Leo Villa, Annika Roger Quinn, Matty Lopez, Haley Jovan Poor, Jason Rontal, Bill Marie Nazario, Alana Eddy, Melissa Casimir, and Alina Sabio. And I'd like to also introduce the winner of our 50-50 raffle. If you have the winning ticket, please come to the booth with your winning ticket. The winning number tonight, 2-9-1-7-6-8-2. Again, 2-9-1-7-6-8-2. And as we come out to the field of play, Legend will be lining up from the near hash mark for the kickoff. Bad Pete for the Burn Toe Patriots, number 81. 
Carl and Heather. So that was a high kick short. Number 34, Marcus Williams takes the couple. Ball will be spotted on the near hash mark of the field at the 31 yard line of the Bernco Patriot. Hand off off the middle to Ontario on the right side. Looks like a pickup of about one. Ball spotted at the 32 of the Vertical Patriots, being marked at the near side half mark. And it is second and nine. Let's go, defense! Let's go, defense! The ball is fumbled and that will be a Wildcat first down. Ball is spotted in the center of the field at the 35 yard line and the black and orange are hitting it. Timeout called by Virgo. And at 11 10 in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, the score the visiting green and white of the Virgo Junior Senior High School Patriots 14 and the hometown black and orange of your Garden of Wildcats 32. Takes off around the left sideline. He's going to pick up five yards. Ball will be marked at the down. near hash mark of the field on the 30 yard line. End it. I guess I probably should have looked at the scoreboard where the football was. <laughs> <laughs> they don't physically ask. That's not all. That's right. I said, no, it's right. And for people like us, it gets mixed up. Look at that now. Right on the play. What if one of them? Is that both? And the position <laughs> call will march the black and orange back. Puts them back to the original line, and that will be second and ten for the black and orange. 
Ball is spotted at the 35 yard line. This is his first year, so he's still learning. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, And the Wildcats break the huddle and take the line of scrimmage. going to set up for a point after attempt. Setting up on the near half mark at the 40. Bad beat for the Patriots, number 81. Harlan Cheddar. And the ball goes to the up man, number 34, Marcus Williams. He takes it about 10, 15 yards. And the third goal Patriots will be taking over. First and ten with the ball being spotted on the near hash mark of the field at the 45-yard line of the Patriots. about four real tough yards taken down by number 82 Maddox Jordan number 11 Brian Egan And the pass attempt was out to the left side. It was intended for number 12, DJ Daniels. No good. And that's going to bring up third and six for the Patriots. Coming in the center of the field from their own 49-yard line. Let's go, 
Pass intended for Sean Jackson Jr. is no good. That's going to bring up fourth and six for the Patriots. Spotted at the 44 yard line on the near half mark for the orange and black heading in. side pushed out of bounds by Dean Dormer. They are spotting the ball at the far hash mark of the field on the 22 yard line heading in. Figueroa calls his own number straight up the gut. He is met by a swarm of Patriots being led by number 73, Dudley Pierre Pierre-Louis. Ball is spotted on the 20-yard line on the far hash mark of the field. Setting up for the VAP. Legend's pick is good. And just like that, at 7:36. The score is the visiting green and white 14 and the hometown black and orange 46.
And a short kick to number four, Angel Brito. And the Burn Tour Patriots will take over. The ball is going to be spotted on the near half mark on the field at their own 49 yard line. Cookie Ledger. Burn coats on the 45 yard line. Heading in. Looks like second and five. Off on his own, he's going to pick up about 27 yards. Tackle on the play, a force out by number two, Dorian Wells, and tackle by number 62 for the Wildcats, Evan Cesare. That's going to be first down and 10 from the 31 heading in. Tackle on the play, number 70, Bo Gogan, and number three, Jason Nagel. Yeah, Pass number 17, Joel Trigger. Solid tackle on the play, Cookie Ledger. And it brings up third and about two. Ball is spotted at the 23 yard line. Green gets away, tries scrambling, doesn't get too far. Sets up what looks like to be. And that's good enough for the Patriots to get a new set of downs. Ball is marked in the center of the field at the 21 yard line. Tackle on the play. Is there? And that's it. Oh, 
Flag down on the play. That will be on the play against the Wildcats. That is going to march them down to the 10 yard line. And it's going to be a new set of downs for the Burns Hope Patriots. King's attempt is no good. It will be second and ten for the Patriots. Ball is placed on the near half marker of the field, just above the ten yard line, heading in. And there's an attempt to Harlem Newson. And it is no good. So it brings up third down and 10 for the Burnsville Patriots. Ball is spotted in the center of the field. And they'll let the cross wind down. And that's the end of the third quarter with the visiting green and white of the Burnco Junior Senior High School 14 and the hometown black and orange 46. Game gives it to Ontario, who gets ahead for about six tough yards. <laughs> Injured Wildcat on the field.
And Javon Tessier comes off the field under his own power. Ball is spotted on the far side hash mark at the five yard line. Fourth and five for the Patriots, heading in. by number two, Dorian Wells. He's going to bring it out of the end zone. It will be a wildcat possession. Ball is in the center of the field at the seven-yard line for the wildcat. And Dakota Wells takes it up the middle, gets about three. Tackle on the play, number 73 for the Patriots. Susie Pierre Luis. Seven. And Dakota Wells gets the call again. He goes off the right guard tackle. And he's going to pick up about two more yards. Tackle on the play, number 51, Jordan Murphy. That's going to bring up a third in five for the black and orange. Ball is spotted on the near hash mark at the 10-yard line. The ball is handed off to Chris Woods, and he's going to skip around the left side. He's going to pick up about 15, 20 yards on that one, and that's good enough for a wild pass. Ball is now spotted on the far half mark of the field. That's the 38-yard line. And the jet around the right side goes down for the loss. Ball is handed off to Brian Egan. He is tackled by number 34, Marcus Williams, for a loss of about two. Ball is now going to be second down in 13. Spotted near the near half mark at the 36-yard line of the Wildcats. Go, 
Let's go, Gardner! He gets the call again off the right tackle. He picks up about four yards on that. But that would be spotted as a third and nine with a ball on the near hash box at the 39 yard line of the Wildcats. And Woods takes the jet off the left side, but there's a flag on the play. And the holding call marches him back 10. We are now third and looking like about 17. And the ball is marked in the center of the field at the 29 yard line. Hand off the sparrow up the gut. Picks up about two or three. This will bring up a fourth and 14 for the Wildcats. Bad keep for the punt, number 81. Harlan Ketta. That's about a 31-yard punt, and the Burnfield Patriots will be taking over. They have a first and 10 with the ball being spotted at the near hash mark of the field at the at their own 39-yard line. Number 70. Oh, <laughs> and that's going to bring up about second and 16 with the ball being marked on the near hash mark of the field at the 33 yard line of the Patriots. <laughs> The ball up the middle and get some tough yards, but tackle on the play, number 55, Ryan Lafrenia. The 
Looks like a third and 13 ball being spotted on the near the near hash mark of the field for the Patriots on the 36 yard line. Otero gets it up the middle for about two yards. Tackle on the play, number 67, Javon Tessier. Our next competition is an away game. My name is Pete McCall. I'm the mouth behind the mic, and on behalf of Gardner Public Schools, I would like to thank the parents, the players, the fans, the reps, and all involved for participating in such a fun, friendly, and fair competition. Reminding us why America is the greatest nation on earth by playing its greatest game. Thank you, and have a pleasant evening.